Welcome to Wave Your Fat Goodbye, which may become, this one may become your favorite show of all. You don't need any dumbbells, you don't need anything, because it's a stretching show. And this is your Tuesday and Friday show. Or you could do it every day, but generally you want to do this Tuesday and Friday. Yeah, actually, you should stretch before every workout for a few minutes and stretch after every workout, so you can plug this DVD in anytime any day of the week but we especially have it designed for Tuesday and Friday to give you a little break so Monday you know you work arms Tuesday you do this show Wednesday you do legs Thursday so anyway you get the, you get the gist of it <laughs> all right round number one we're gonna start at the bottom of the body and work our way up so we're just gonna start with calves and this is a real simple one you just want to step forward and what you're gonna do is you're gonna point your back toe forward in the same direction as your knee and then just push your heel down to the ground and we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds and then we'll switch legs you can really feel this. Yeah, it, it's really going to burn, but it's important that you point your toe forward. You don't want your toe open like this. That's going to put too much strain on the inside of the knee. You want your toe directly lined up with your knee and then just force the heel back down. So you're going to feel this Switch. on the back of your calf and on the front of your calf. Yeah, and depending on how limber you, go, you are is how low you would go. So you could stay way up here if you want to. And We'll come way down and really push that heel down. This feels so good. Yeah. This, you're really going to enjoy today's show. We've got to pick some nice relaxing music for you so you could just, just stretch, elongate the muscles, and relax. And breathe. Don't forget to breathe when you're doing this. And we'll switch it one minute. Go back for another 30 seconds. We want to talk to you a little bit about the importance of stretching. We've got some facts today that we're going to present from the Mayo Clinic. Flexibility tends to diminish, so as you get older, you really want to stretch because you can re regain and maintain. Yeah, this is one of the few things you actually can regain and maintain as you get older. You know, a lot of muscle and some other things you may not be able to, but stretching, you actually can increase and then maintain your flexibility as you get older. Good, let's switch for the last 30 seconds. So that is great news for today's show. No matter what age you are, you can regain and then maintain your flexibility by stretching. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, you really feel the muscles heat up when you do this. So stretching is important. It, it gets the blood flowing again, which is great. Yeah, we've got a lot um, of great facts that we're going to share with you today. Three, so two, you might want to memorize some one, of these and share them with your friends. Expired. All right, that's it for round one. Lori, share some wave your fat goodbye facts with us. One of the battles that many people face is unhealthy foods tastes so good. The sweeteners and sugar are like a drug. Yeah, research actually says that sugar is linked to inflammation in the body and that results in premature aging, loss of skin elasticity, wrinkles, and various other pains and misery. Let's repeat those because I think it's, this is so important to understand that it's linked to inflammation in the body. You're talking about premature aging, loss of skin elasticity, wrinkles, and just all kinds of other pains within the body. So my whole thing about sugar is it's evil. It's <laughs> just evil. It's not good for you and it causes all kinds of problems, so don't eat it. Yeah, think about it. just think about it's some evil. of the detriments of sugar. So Lori's <laughs> theme for today, sugar is evil, just avoid it. All right, round number two, we're gonna, as we said, work our way up the body, we're gonna do hamstrings. So we just want you to put your right foot out, lift up onto your heel, and then just lean into that leg. So you want your knee locked out. And you want your hips forward. You don't open up your hips, just like the other exercise that we did where you don't put your foot sideways. You don't open up your hips. You keep your hips forward with the leg and just lean into that. And you can really, really feel this when you do it. Yeah, you feel it in the ham, in, in your calf yeah, and, and your in your hamstring. Right. Yeah, we, we like to pull our toes back. Let's switch at 30 seconds and we'll show you why. But you can vary this. You can play around with it. You can point your toes and you'll feel how much that relaxes, especially the calf, but it also relaxes the hamstring. So pull it back and you'll really feel how much that stretches the hamstring. Yeah, really stretches the hamstring. Yeah. And back to some of our Mayo Clinic facts. Lori mentioned on that first round that stretching actually does increase the blood flow to your muscles. Yeah, it brings nourishment, it gets rid of waste, byproducts in the muscle tissue as well. Yeah, and that blood flow actually heats up the muscle. So as you're doing today's program, oh, we forgot to switch, didn't we? Sorry about that. I got <laughs> so caught up in talking about the muscle. Let's switch back to the other side. Uh, but it, the blood flow to the muscle will actually heat the muscle up. So you may end up sweating before today's show is over. 
You know what I thought about too? You, this helps you work on your balance. Because mm -hmm. you really have to balance when you're doing this. Absolutely. So great for coordination. Okay, let's switch for the last 30 seconds. Well, I like this doing this, uh, especially after doing a legs show, doing a legs program. So <laughs> you may want to throw this DVD in after you do the legs program. <laughs> It'll help your thighs a little bit. Well, and you'll get to a point where you'll remember these stretches and yeah. you could do them anytime. Right. Do this in the kitchen while you're cooking dinner for your family. Brushing your teeth, well, you know, all kinds of just daily activities yeah. you can what do. What about there. doing this brushing my teeth? Well, you could do the calf one, maybe. <laughs> Time, has Time has expired. All right, Lori, share the Word of God with us. Genesis 1:29. Then God said, Behold, I've given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth, and every tree which has fruit yielding seed. It shall be food for you. So God has given us every food that we can eat that helps nourish our body. And you, we're talking about sowing a harvest in your body. So when you're using God's food, then you're absolutely nourishing your body, not just with the Word of God by what we're saying, but also nourishing your body physically. Yeah, and that scripture doesn't talk about refined sugars because you said sugar is evil. So it talks about <laughs> plants and it talks about fruits. So those seed yielding plants and fruits, God gave those to us. I mean, he gave us basically the Bible is your instructions for life. So yes. just go by the word of God. But we're going to share some more scripture with you later. But now let's move up the body. We're going to move to the front of the thigh for the quads. So this one you may want to hold on to your partner or hold on to a chair or something. But you just want to bring your bright, right leg up and point your knee straight down at the ground and bring your heel up to your back pocket and this is where you can balance if you want to I like to hold an arm out it helps me balance mm -hmm. or you can hold on to a stool you can hold on to your workout partner but just pull it straight up behind you and stretch the front of this quad whoa <laughs> you okay yeah. yeah this is a really good one for balance yeah I love this okay let's switch 30 seconds oh see now I can easily grab the stool but I'm trying not to <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not going across yet. Oh, we're still I know, pulling up straight behind. Okay, I don't have anything to hold on to. I just realized that. Here, you can hold on to <laughs> No, <me>. it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are some, other, some of the other advantages of stretching? Well, stretching, it warms the muscle up. Right. It keeps the muscle flexible. It keeps the muscle from getting tight. It allows and maintains, it helps you maintain proper posture. Um, it helps for aches and pains. So this next 30 seconds, you're going to lift and reach across if you can. So I'm going to grab, you know, my right leg with my left hand and pull it across instead of going straight back. If you can't reach and you've got a sofa or a chair at your house, you can just put your foot up on the sofa or the chair and then just turn your body a little bit. But we actually want to pull it across this way, just a little bit on this 30 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other one. And you really have to have balance when you do yeah, Oh, yeah, this. I'm using a stool for this one. I <laughs> will cheating. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but stretching also improves your posture. Good. Last 30 seconds. Let's switch sides. Oh, now, when I just about got it. <laughs> but stretching improves your posture, which is so important. Uh, proper posture relieves a lot of pain and, and aches in the body. So make sure that you have proper posture, but this stretching show today will help with that. Oh, I just fell. <laughs> and drink water. Drink lots of water. Yeah, that okay. helps. When you hydrate, you're helping Five, all your organs, four, your heart, your brain. Three, your muscle Two. tissue, so you One really need to hydrate. Has expired. All right, time has expired. You can shake that out a little. And Lori, she said time has expired, but time is one of the most valuable things to people. We're all so busy these days that there never seems to be enough time to get everything accomplished, let alone take the time to shop for healthier foods or spend time cooking. We want to encourage you, make the time. Yeah, it's pretty common knowledge how unhealthy most fast food is. So we will encourage you to start making time to enjoy normal meals cooked at home, make them colorful, well-balanced, and use healthy choices. So yeah, time is so valuable. But people think, oh, I'm just going to go to fast food. It'll be so much quicker. Sometimes it isn't. I mean, pizza delivery, you're going to wait 30 minutes for somebody to deliver a pizza. Then you're going to tip them. <laughs> so you're going to pay them extra money just for bringing it to you. In 30 minutes, you could have cooked something at home. Absolutely. And if you plan ahead, it really doesn't take that much time. No. All right, round four. We're moving up a little further to our stomach. So we're going to start. We're just going to reach over to the right. So just lean to the right. And what I like to do is reach down my leg. I like to see if I can reach, you know, past my knee. And then if you really want to add to the stretch, you can bring your other arm over the top. And I'm going to show you a different version for those of you that don't feel comfortable 
bending really hard that way. Just bend in front of you. Yeah, she likes to just put her arm in front. You can reach way out if you want. You can just let it drape over your head. Whatever you're comfortable with, but just make sure you're really, you're gonna actually stretch this side, compress this side. And I'll switch at 30 seconds, so we'll go to the other way. It's hard to talk when you do yes, that. Yes, it is. So <laughs> you're gonna lean down. And then I'm gonna go over top. Lori's gonna go across the front. Just hold it. So we're holding most of the stretches today for 15 to 30 seconds. And why is that, Lori? You wanna explain that to them? Because it lengthens the tissue. So when you hold for a stretch for 15 to 30 seconds, and even up to 60, it helps muscles. Good, now let's just lean back a little bit. So you can just put your hands above your back pocket and just lean back, almost like you're trying to do a limbo. And we'll hold this for 30 seconds. But yeah, to safely stretch the muscles, you want to do it nice and slowly and doing it for an extended period of time. So at least 15 up to 30 seconds. You can even go to 60 seconds. If you have a muscle that's really sore and really tight, you can go up to 60 seconds. And breathe. Yeah, especially when you're leaning back <laughs> like this. <laughs> Good, last 30 seconds. Now we're just gonna do little circles. Almost, we like to call this the hula hoop. So just tiny circles. Now that we stretch three different directions, we're just gonna work on the mobility. A lot of people forget to breathe when they're stretching. Yeah. So it's important, you gotta get oxygen. Let's go the other direction. You do hula hoop the other direction? <laughs> do it both ways? If I had a real hula hoop, I don't know if I could do it. Yeah, take one, long breaths, two, long deep breaths three, while you're stretching. Two, one, time has expired. All right, Lori, share some more information, some helpful tips for our viewers. Fast food is so inexpensive, it might seem like you can't afford to cook. But what are you sacrificing? You're buying cheap seed, so what will the harvest be? You're getting almost no nutritional value, and then you load yourself with unwanted fat calories. Price should not be the final determining factor when you and your family's health is involved. Plant good seed for an entire month and see how much stronger, brighter, more alert, and more productive you feel. Those sugar hangovers will be a thing of the past. So since this is a 30-day workout, we encourage you to plant good seed. Eat healthy for 30 days. Forget the fast food for 30 days. Fast from fast food for 30 days. Eat healthy, and you're going to feel so much better. We can guarantee that. And no sugar hangovers because sugar is evil anyway. Sugar is evil. <laughs> Round number five, we're going to do arms. Start with the left arm. We're just going to pull it across the body. A couple ways you can do this. You can put it, I like to put it in my elbows, kind of cross my elbows, make a little cross here. Sign language of a cross of some kind. You can just grab it and pull if you want, pull the elbow. Keep so your shoulder down. Yeah, drop your shoulder. You don't want your shoulder way up under your neck. Keep the shoulder down and relaxed and then stretch it across. 30 seconds, we'll switch to the other side. So we took about 30 seconds to explain how to do that stretch. Now we'll just switch to the other side. <laughs> do you have it? You got it there? Just pull it. <laughs> you can always just grab the out. There you go. Just grab and pull. Now you brought up a good point earlier, Lori. Remind them to breathe when stretching. You don't want to hold your breath. And we're doing this for two minutes. If you hold your breath for every two minutes, you're going to be in trouble. So. Nice deep breaths while we're doing this. Yeah, stretching is an exercise. It has the same endorphin boosting um, effects when you're exercising and it helps mood and the way you feel in general. So it really is. Yes. This next 30 seconds, we want you to just clasp your hands behind if you can and open up your chest. Okay, so we're working the arms and this will, if you can lock out your elbows, so if you're limber enough to grab your hands and lock out your elbows, it'll really stretch your arms, your shoulders, your chest. Mm -hmm last 30 seconds we have a special one for you we're gonna do what we call a hug so the last 30 seconds we just want you to take your right arm and kind of crawl behind your shoulder and take your left arm crawl behind the other shoulder and then just open both of them up as much as you can pull a little bit on both arms so you're giving yourself a nice big hug that feels good <laughs> hugging yeah and you'll feel this this will stretch the back it'll stretch your shoulders your arms it's a really good one for you five Four, three, two, one, time has expired. Oh, I like that one. Between the opening up and the hug, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, Lori, talk to us about the Holy Spirit. Well, our bodies house the Holy Spirit. Therefore, 
we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Because of that, we are to keep them clean. It isn't our opinion, it's straight from the Word of God. God created you in His image, and are you honoring Him by taking care of His gift? There are several ways to honor your temple and utilize the resources that He's given us, and that includes using your intellect to educate yourself in making healthy decisions and taking care of yourself. So yeah, God has given us so many gifts, and one of those is your intellect, it is your brain, it is your mind, it is your thought process. So use that, go on the internet, research healthy alternatives, healthy snack alternatives, which we talked about in another show. But do some of your own research so that you can live a healthier life. Yeah, and remember, the Holy Spirit lives in you. That's so. right, it's a gift. Yeah. You're Round number six, we're gonna do shoulders. So you wanna start by pointing your left elbow up at the ceiling, and you can just push from here. If you're more flexible, you can reach behind and pull it down. If you're really flexible, you can try to grasp your hands behind and pull down that way. So whatever, we've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced for this one, so whatever yeah. you're comfortable with, whatever you can do, just stretch your shoulder. Feels good. Yeah, but if you really think about that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's overwhelming at times. Good, right side, elbow up at the sky, you can just push it, pull it from behind your head or you can grasp your hands. That's why we do this because we know that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We're going to honor it and the Holy Spirit lives in us. We want to take care of him. He takes care of us. He gives us peace, joy, Amen. gives us wisdom, leads us, directs us. So we need to take care of him. Good. Now we're just going to take the left shoulder and you're just going to pull behind. So grab your hand from behind and you're just going to pull across the back a little bit. Don't tug, just gently. Yeah, this is a nice gentle stretch. Yeah. And stretching has so many, so many important properties. It, it, it promotes relief from pain. It increases your energy level. Of course, it increases your flexibility. That's right. It provides better range of motion for joints. It promotes a greater, greater circulation in your blood flow. Right. So it heats the muscle up. Good. Switch sides. So you'll grab your right arm. And just pull a little bit, gently pull behind. Yeah, don't tug, just gentle pull. Yeah, you'll feel it all the way across here, all the way across the top of the shoulder. So just gently pull on that. Yeah, and that blood circulation. I mean, if, you, if you've got a headache, if you're tired, get up and stretch a little bit. Get, it'll increase the blood flow in the body, and it can, it can make you feel better instantly. Oh, I stretch Four, before I ever even get out of bed. Yes, she does. One time has expired. All right, Lori, we covered Genesis earlier. What's, what's your second scripture for today? 1 Corinthians 3.16. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the, and the Spirit of God dwells in you? The Spirit of God dwells in you. You're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Understand that. Think about that, that Jesus lives inside of you. He gives you wisdom. He gives you peace. He's your helper. So take care of the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's why we do this. Yeah, I like to think of it as a gift. I mean, God yeah. gave us this gift, and you house the, the Holy Spirit within this little temple, this gift that he's given you. So how would you treat a most precious gift like that? Would you throw it in the garbage can? No, you would take care of it. You would treasure it. So treasure this temple of the Holy Spirit. But the good news is it doesn't matter where you are right now. It matters where you're going, where you're going to be, where you're going to be right. tomorrow and the next week and the next year. So right. don't get discouraged. We want you to be encouraged. Round number seven, we're going to do wrists. And this is a great one for those of you that are on computers and things too much. But we're going to start with the left arm, and you just want to pull your fingertips back towards you. We like to lock out the elbow and then pull the fingertips back towards you. We'll hold this for 30, and then we'll do the other side, and then we'll flip them over. So four different stretches for your wrists. This feels so good. Yeah, if you're on computers a lot, if you work at a desk, um, any repetitive motion, uh, this is really good. You can do this at your desk. You can do this at your house if you're on your computer for too long. This is really good. It helps uh, prevent carpal tunnel syndrome and all kinds of wrist issues with overuse. Good. 30 seconds. Let's do the other arm. So right arm, just lock out the elbow and pull the fingers back. Yeah, you can actually do this with both hands on a desk mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. yeah, just push both hands up against mm -hmm. the front. Sure. You know, stretching helps promote relaxation helps stress level relief, it promotes enhanced muscular coordination, and it improves posture. So that's why we do these. I mean, it's great for you. Yeah, this time you're going to point the hand down. Instead of this way, point the fingers down this and pull back just a little bit. Yeah, we talked about the posture earlier, but uh, the muscle coordination, muscular coordination, 
Actually, you've got to stay tuned. We have some facts coming up in a few rounds that are going to, they're pretty, they fascinated me when I first mm -hmm. found out the study. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for the facts. You might want to memorize these facts coming up. But the mus muscular coordination that stretching gives you is just incredible. It improves strength, it improves endurance. Good. Other side. Well, that one feels really good for some reason on this right arm. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I commented earlier on I stretch before I ever even get out of bed. I stretch really, really, really hard. And I got that from watching one of our little dogs. She will, as soon as she wakes up, she stretches really, really hard. So if God put that in one of an animal, then certainly we can benefit oh. from it. Cool. Yeah, stretch before you get out of bed. Yeah. Two. One time has expired. All right, Lori, let's get back in. We've covered a couple scriptures that are powerful, but let's get back into wave your fat goodbye. What seeds are you sowing for your family and loved ones? Are you setting good examples for them? This isn't meant to condemn you because we've got some really great news. God loves you so much. He loves you and all you have to do is ask for His help. We have a loving Heavenly Father and He's always been faithful to help us. Yes, just start from this day forward as a new creation and start a walk of health for you, your family, and for your Heavenly Father. From this day forward, you're going to be an awesome witness for Christ and have an incredible testimony of victory to share with everyone. And that's what we talked about er earlier. It's from this day forward, right? You're a, especially if you just accepted Christ, you are a new creation in Christ. So, or make a new commitment today. Be a new creation in Christ, and from this day forward, you're gonna be a new creation and have incredible victory. So don't let anyone even tell you about the past, that old person, that old person died, forget yeah, the past. <laughs> Round number eight it is neck. What am I talking about? I don't know, neck. <laughs> We're gonna just <laughs> lean your right ear down to your right shoulder. It is neck. I like that. <laughs> so just try to touch your ear to your shoulder if you can, but don't bring your shoulder up, okay? Don't raise your shoulder. Just relax your shoulders and just drop your head to the right. This is one of my favorites because there's so much stress on your neck during the day or even at night when you sleep. This is a good one to do when you first wake up. Good. Other side, so just take your left ear down to your left shoulder. But yes. you know, there's one thing that we've learned too, that it's great for your neck, but you don't want to stretch your neck back, correct? Yeah, we choose not to. I mean, there are a lot of people that do. Uh, we choose not to just because of the spine, the yeah. spinal cord. You don't necessarily need to really stretch back and put that, that undue pressure on the spine. So we avoid doing that. So we're just gonna have four simple ones for you today. Just lean left and right. And now we're gonna do two others. We're gonna look left and right. So look to the right and look as far as you can. So you want to twist as far as you can. And then for a little added benefit, you can tilt your chin up just a little bit. So you want to look as far as you can and then tilt your chin up just a little. Wow, you can really feel that stretch. <laughs> yeah, so if you slept wrong, you know, if your pillow was bunched up wrong and you need to stretch your neck in the morning, just go through these four stretches. It's only taking us, what, two minutes to do these. Yep. Good, other side. Go ahead and roll over and lift. Look to the left and then lift up. And yeah, we want to talk to you about some facts. There was a study done in the American College of Sports Medicine Journal that they actually had a group of 38 people and they did two focus groups. They had one that did absolutely no exercising at all. No stretching, did nothing, just sat on the couch for, for a period of time. And the others stretched for 40 minutes a couple times a week. But you're going to be fascinated at the results. Five, we'll give you those results four, in the next round. Three, two, one time has expired. All right, Lori, share some, uh, we, we've tried to motivate and encourage the viewers today. What else? Well, we've talked about taste. So when talking about taste and time and cost during today's workout, try to make a few simple changes in your life and take time for what's truly important. Don't get overwhelmed. Start with one simple choice each week. Yeah, for this week, you might give up sodas. Next week, you could abstain from donuts. The third week, cut out french fries. Those are all simple steps, and by the time you're done with this 30-day workout, you'll have given up four items that can make an incredible difference in your life. You don't have to make 3,000 changes all right before midnight tonight. Just focus on these smaller goals until all those small victories add up. So a lot of people get overwhelmed. They think, oh my gosh, I've read this book or I heard you know, from a doctor that I've got to make these 4,000 changes. You'll be frozen. You won't be able to do it. Just one simple change a week. So we just gave you three simple ones that are going to make a huge impact in your life. Amen. Last round, full body. We'll just start at the bottom. We're just going to rotate our ankles. So instead of stretching, we're going to work a little bit of mobility and stretching for this last round. Just a few seconds on each ankle. Let's talk about that static group 
Rob, that we talked about in the earlier round. Yeah, so during that survey, let's switch sides. During that survey, the static group, which are the people that basically did nothing, they tested them again after that time period. And they, of course, as you would expect, they had 0% improvement. They had absolutely no improvement, but they didn't do anything. So you're not going to have any improvement. Good. Let's do our knees now. We're just going to make little circles with our knees. Just push the flexibility of our knees. Now, the other group, the group that actually stretched for 40 minutes a couple times a week, first of all, their strength or their stretch increased 18%. In other words, meaning how far they could sit and lean forward increased 18%. Good, let's do the waist, same thing. So their stretch increased 18%. Then they did a strength training. Their strength increased 15% just from stretching. So just by, they didn't lift any weights during that time period. They just stretched and their strength increased 15%. Good, let's bring a knee up. Just bring your right knee up as high as you can to your chest. You might need your stool for this one. Now here's two of the fascinating ones. Now keep in mind, they didn't lift weights. All they did was stretch a couple times a week. And just from stretching, good, other leg, left knee, they tested their vertical jump and their distance jump. So their height increased 7% just from stretching. They didn't do any jump training or anything else, just from stretching. Their vertical jump increased 7% and their standing long jump increased 2%. Good, other leg. And we're gonna bring this one across, so pull it across the body. So I was fascinated when I first learned that, that their strength increased, their endurance increased. We didn't give the endurance stat, but their endurance increased, their strength increased, and their jumping ability increased. Good, other knee across. Five, four, All from stretching, no weight training, two, just one, stretching. Time has expired. Oh, that felt good. That was a great show. You can do this show as many times a week as you want at any time you want, so really, really enjoy it. And today we talked about Genesis 129. Then God said, Behold, I've given you every plant yielding seed that's on the surface of all the earth and every tree which has fruit yielding seed, and it shall be food for you. Also, 1 Corinthians 3.16, Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells in you? Keep learning these scriptures. Keep saying them to yourself. You're feeding your soul. But after a certain point in time, you're going to see all the benefits from not just the workout, but the Word of God feeding your spirit, man. Yeah, commit those to memory, and that's going to, that's going to help you with your victories. As you press forward, that will help you with your victories. We thank you so much for joining us on this stretching show. Do it as many days as you want, as often as you want. We always close with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health, just as your soul prospers. See you guys tomorrow. God bless you.